Oh. Uh, Halo jumbo sized action figure by uh, Mattel. Very cool thing. Found it at Kmart. My uh, Kmart was going out of business, so I got a great deal on this guy. I never even knew he existed before I went there. But uh, I'm a big Halo fan. I've played... I played every entry in the game up to Halo 4, which is when I lost my Xbox. But uh, I've always loved Halo. I've always loved Master Chief. So I picked this guy up and I'm going to unbox him for you. I've been dying to do it all afternoon. So uh, I sincerely hope you enjoy this video. Now, opening this guy might be a little bit challenging with one hand because one hand has to hold the camera. Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm going to have to put you down for a second so I can get this guy open. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Open. Okay, yeah, it's got tape on it. <laughs> it's secure packaging that you got this tape from a Covenant spaceship. There we go. Okay, check her out. Oh, hold on. Again. Just gonna have to eviscerate this box, aren't I? In the dark. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> interesting box choice. The, uh, Cardboard back for the character only extends to the uh, bottom of the view of field of vision on the box. So you're saving like two cents per package in cardboard. Um, it said he's highly articulated. So we're going to get into that momentarily. Um, I'm going to try to figure out. Yes, that's my foot. Oh, <laughs> big and ominous but um i'm gonna try to figure out just how articulated we're talking his knees don't move neither do his feet highly posable figura articulada so figura articulada hmm. he is articulated like a little bit more than uh say a marvel guy of the same size um the dc ones are about this poseable with their knees moved i'll try to review some of those in the future but uh all in all like to kind of steal from anthony's customs the paintwork is great i mean just overall they got they made everything look right he doesn't look like eh, he's supposed to be from this video game but uh Wrestling with rubber bands. Hold on. A good old salt rifle. I can't resist. It looks just like in the game, except it would be on this side with the ammunition counter visible. Shoot the books. Yeah, I love books, so I would never shoot them in real life or in a game. But, uh, anyhow. Um, he's in there really securely, so I'm going to have to put down the camera again. You guys are getting some great views of my... Ow! Oh, that hurt! Okay. Never pull off rubber bands that way ever again, self. What are you thinking? Okay, um... If I'm going to pick a bone about the paint on the camera, yeah, it looks all dark and everything, but now that I've got him out of the box, actually most of it blends into forest green. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it because I've been wanting a Master Chief figurine for years uh, that wasn't by McFarlane. So the McFarlane line I was not impressed with. I had several. They were always breaking. He can stand up pretty good. Um, Illumination's terrible in here for tonight for some reason. But, uh, I mean, 
as far as poseable goes, that can be argued. I mean, he's he's pretty poseable. <laughs> oh, last thing so many people have seen in multiplayer. But um, I'm really a huge fan of it. I mean, it it's it's kind of heavy. But it does, one thing that I'm happy with is it says 4 plus, and where is it? Yep, there is their uh, warning. Warning, small parts may be generated. Not for people 0 through 3. Small parts may be generated. It's a big warning on the bottom of the box. I would still like it to be a little more prominent. Like, maybe put it there or something. Make it look like it's a detail on the wall. Simply because um, I have a little brother and I'm insanely worried about choking hazards. But uh, I'm going to put the camera down one last time so I can put it in his hand. And maybe I'll put it down one more time to see if the peg actually works. So, hang tight. Da, da, da. Da. Yeah, I've got some uh, classic Max Steel figures so they might be able to hold this look like a uh, unsc marines that'd be awesome so he holds this pretty good he does not he's having a hard time standing up but I mean, like, you know, is if a kid... Man, this lighting is terrible! I don't understand it. It was better last time I did a video. But, uh... He's not wanting to stand up for some reason. I think they didn't make his feet... There we go. There we go. Um, he stands up pretty good. Uh, not a lot of room there. Like, he's not... He's just standing. He's not like, doesn't have his feet planted or anything. But, uh, I would love to see this a third person Halo title. That'd be so cool. Then it's like, very cool. But, um, this is just awesome. Awesome figure. All the way around. Um, I'm going to put the camera down one more time. See if the weapon stays on his back. Or wherever they've got the hole. Yeah, on his back right here. So I'm going to put this down one more time and then wrap this review up. Do, 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 do. Very nice, very nice. Um, he's probably not going to be able to like reach up and grab it, but you can kind of like if you're wanting to like do like, some posing or something. Ah, uh, no. But um, all in all, I really highly recommend this because I mean it looks good for the camera, firstly. Secondly, it is in scale. I'll probably do a different video seeing if it's in scale with uh, other dolls or something. Actually, I think there's one right up here. Just hold on, just one more second. Um, hmm, he is actually a tiny bit shorter. Barbie is a little bit taller than Master Chief. That's an unexpected development. Yeah, you probably heard my mom laughing in the background. She thought that was hilarious. But, um, this is weird. Yeah, as soon as he's like seven feet tall, what does that make Barbie? Um... Well, that's a little bit of a scaling issue. Um, the DC figure I had, I think it was also by Mattel, had the same problem. Uh, Batman and Superman both were a little tiny bit shorter than uh, 
your average Barbie doll, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not going to give it a bad review or anything. I actually give it a big thumbs up because it uh, gives me a figure in addition to the DC and Marvel figures in that size range that I can feel comfortable playing with and uh, with Barbie dolls. And there, therefore, it also gives boys a way to interact with their sisters, kind of closing that gender gap that I've always despised about toys. You know, girls play with this, boys play with this, and that is the way it is. But um, 